hello. How are you? I'm fine too. Okay. Well, the weather is getting colder, and you know, Halloween is over. And now, many people probably are looking forward to Christmas, perhaps New Year's. Yes, winter is approaching. And I hope you've been doing well, not catching a cold or the flu. Well, COVID-19 for the matter. Okay. Now, today's first idiom is... Uh, which one was it? Oh, I, I, I lost where I was. Oh, yes. French benefit. Well, French sometimes means many, many little different things, a little, you know, little hair or the, uh, the age of the things or uh, the secondary, well, but a fringe benefits, okay, that's something extra uh, or something valuable that an employee gets besides wages or salary. For example, the members of the diet, the government of people, uh, get much more than a moderate salary, but also they have several fringe benefits, maybe too many, such as free lunches, drivers with a car, life insurance, a yearly bonus or bonuses, uh, free movie tickets, or baseball game tickets, or free traveling, even sometimes free housing. And I think that's not little, but just too much. Don't you think? My goodness. And those money are our tax paid money, so I can't stand it. What I get is the uh, 10,000 yen for being a popular teacher at school. That's all. It's such a tiny, tiny fringe benefit besides my monthly salary. <laughs> oh, wow. What am I complaining about? Next is, um, well, the sentence is, it's almost impossible to attract young people or young employees today without offering them pretty good fringe benefits. Isn't that true? The next idiom is to fix someone or something up. Well, one of the meanings is to arrange a date or an engagement for another person. And another meaning is to repair or put something in order. For example, oh, I'm going to have to fix up my broken bicycle one of these days, something like that. Or uh, let's say it was rather embarrassing that the people around me try to fix me up with a date. You know, when you found that out, that's what they were doing. You get so embarrassed and you suddenly start losing the interest in meeting her or whatever, you know. Or Oh, yes, I remember back in Los Angeles, my hometown in California, I was a church goer. And uh, when the people sort of try 
almost always decide to um, fix up a single members uh, with someone who is also single, uh, sort of a being matchmakers, too many matchmakers everywhere. So they always try, always try to fix the single members with dates, with others, with uh, others, uh, girls or boys or, you know, they believe in being a couple. And uh, if you say you are content or happy just being single, then others would think you are very strange. And also I noticed when I was in Europe, you know, people just dance in the discotheque by themselves, you know, alone, a lot of them. And that was normal. But in the United States, that is that was strange. Uh, you were going to have to dance with somebody. And if a shy people, you know, they can't enjoy dancing, although they want to. It's just a uh, culture difference. But how about in Japan? Do people dance by themselves or with always a partner? I don't know. Okay, now, the last idiom for today is to be had, means to be victimized or cheated. For example, let's say that I went to, uh, jewelry store and they got the little gold i don't know earring or little things for my neck or whatever and i found that out it was imitation then i would say you mean these aren't real gold and i could exclaim uh, or get even upset when I come home and I find out they were imitation gold. Then I would say, oh, I've had. Or, no, I didn't have had anybody, but I have been had. Means that I was victimized. Or somebody has had me. So that means I've been cheated. Or let's say, oh, I saw an angry customer complained about being overcharged for the necklace, diamond necklace that she bought at a jewelry store. Uh, asserting that uh, she had been had. That's how you say it. But we use more, you know, she's been cheated or overcharged. It's maybe easier to understand. Whatever, that's one of the idioms. Now, today's new words. The first one is chat. It means joke, fun, mockery, things to be laughed at, uh, to joke, or poke fun. Uh, for example, okay, do not just about matters of education. Because I think education is very important for everyone. Or, oh, there's an old saying, there's many a true word spoken in jest. So even in the jokes, but there's some truth in the words. Uh, let's say, Next word is patriotic. It means loving one's country 
or showing love or loyal support for his or her country or their country. Uh, for example, I think most Americans are patriotic, but Japanese are not in general, except uh, in the Olympic game programs on air, on TV, because uh, I've been watching the Olympic Games and uh, the Paralympic Games for many, 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 many years since when I was a little boy. And, uh, you know, I lived in uh, almost five different countries and I always watched them. And I guess Japan is the only the country that they only show Japanese athletes. And if any Japanese athletes did not participate in some games or sport events, they don't care to show us. They just ignore it and skip them. So it's very patriotic. If it's the Japanese thing, they always show thousand times repeatedly, you know. Oh, I think that is sometimes. So that's patriotic. Am I patriotic? Well, I cannot be. I cannot be patriotic because to become patriotic, you've got to, you know, love your country so much, therefore you're going to have to spend so much money, so much time there, or sometimes you have to get education constantly in that country. But uh, for me, I really sometimes don't know where I belong because my culture, education, places don't match with my citizenship. So I call myself an <laughs> terrestrial or earth person or earth knees or global citizens. That sounds a little corny, but that's how I feel. And then in the future, I think many more people are going to become just like myself today. Now, the last word for today is dispute. It means disagree, oppose, try to win, a debate or disagreement. For example, yes, Ukraine has disputed, um, well, every centimeter of ground against Russia. Hmm? Or let's say many people of the national diet are speaking out of their emotions uh, by the nonsense dispute. And some of them even you know, sleeping and they get paid for it. Don't you think that's wrong? I think it is wrong. Well, I know so. And uh, I dispute, especially against their stupid actions, or stupid talk, or lies, stealing money from us. Okay, well, take care of yourself. I'll see you next week.